One of the most impressive planets in our solar system is Saturn. With the beautiful rings surrounding it, mankind has been looking to explore it for centuries. Take a second to learn a little about Saturn and then flex your astronomy muscles in front of your friends. Before Uranus, Neptune, and other astronomical objects were discovered, Saturn was perceived as the furthest planet from Earth. Just like Uranus and Neptune, Saturn is a gas giant. As the term suggests, it is mostly made of gas, and it is considerably larger than Earth, 95 times bigger to be exact. Still, because it's made of gas, it is a lot less dense. In fact, Saturn's density is lower than water's. This means that if we had a ginormous space bathtub that could fit Saturn in it, the planet would float in it. Well, in 1610, Galileo Galilei studied Saturn and noticed something weird. Saturn seemed to have two astronomical objects orbiting it as it rotates. For two years, Galileo tracked the movements of those two objects until they finally disappeared. He saw them back again in 1616, this time looking like two little handles around the planet. In 1656, the scientist Christian Huygens solved the mystery. He came up with the idea of angled rings orbiting Saturn, and that their angle in relation to the planet slowly changes all the time. Saturn's rings are very flat, about 180,000 miles wide and less than a mile thick. Once every 15 years, the ring's angle changes so they turn their profile to Earth. When that happens, we can't see them at all. This is why Galileo couldn't see them in 1612. So at first, Saturn's rings were thought to be one single ring made of solid matter but that sparked many arguments within the scientific community. Physicist James Maxwell is the one who figured it can't be solid matter, because that kind of ring would shatter from its planet's gravity pulling on its inside. His theory was that the ring was made of numerous small objects that appeared to be solid from a great distance. And the scientist who discovered that there was more than one ring was Jack Dominic Cassini. In 1675, he ran the Paris Planetarium and noticed thin black lines along the ring, dividing it into seven concentric rings orbiting Saturn. So, as we've seen Saturn's history that was full of interesting discoveries, thanks to the curiosity of those people who couldn't stop looking for the truth. I personally think that these discoveries are very astonishing and made us know that there is still a lot of things to discover in our vast universe. This is Extended, and thank you for watching.